Well, good morning from the Cascade Loop, everybody. As you can tell by the moisture on the ground, it has been moist the last couple days. And because I'm in no rush, I decided to just kind of take it easy. <laughs> I actually spent an extra night at the Thousand Trails there in Laconer. But today, I think we're going to get back on the road. We're going to dry up. We're going to get some sunshine. And we should be good for this uh, trip. Now, yes, we got a lot of rain. But did we really need to rebuild the ark? <laughs> like, look at this. <laughs> two of every kind, two giraffes, two elephants, complete with a palm tree here in Washington, okay. Two lambs, two lo- that's not a lo- one of them's a lion. I don't know, what is that? Another lamb. Uh, lambs don't get along with lions, guys. I mean, look at the detail here. Look at this big, huge, huge wooden door. Wow. It is a church school, play, play school thing, I guess. Lots of palm trees. Oh, and a colorful rainbow to remind us. It's different, I'll give you that. All right, so gave it a couple hours, had lunch, and uh, as you can see, the roads are now uh, dry, or dry in, drier, I guess you'd say. Are you done, Jax? Okay. Jax wants to go underneath instead. So we're going to leave Burlington. Oh, wait. Burlington Coat Factory in Burlington, Washington. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I almost didn't catch that. Uh, but back on the Cascade Highway here, also called Highway 20. And what is it? Just uh, 15 miles east of here is actually a DNR campground that I want to look at real quick. Thank you. So we'll go check out this campground down the road. And uh, here we are in Cedro Woolly. What a, what a funny name for a city, right? Cedro Woolly. I, I really like that. Home of the log, logger, log rodeo? The log rodeo. Okay. And they got a steam locomotive out here in front. Part of the Puget Sound and Baker River Railroad there. Uh-huh. Okay, who's this guy? I don't know. There's a random dude here pointing to these big logs, but there's no information anywhere. So you're left to just guess. It kind of looks like a young Bob Ross, kind of. Boy, those are some big logs. Those are real? They have to be. Yeah, those are real logs on there. And then the caboose is the information center. But they must have had to make some budget cuts in Cedro Woolley, because in the heart of summer, they're all closed up. Oh well, that's pretty cool though. Cedro Woolley. When was the last time I got a magnet? It's been a while, man. Look at all these RVs everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a turn up here. We're gonna we're gonna get off of the Cascades Highway here and go up into the mountains over there. Already, it is definitely starting to feel like we are not in the big city anymore. Like almost instantly. It is starting to get a little more uh, remote, you might say. So when are we going to hit dirt roads? Probably pretty soon. Okay, this wood sign says Cowboy Campsite Cascade Camp 1.4 Miles Partner. Partner! Okay, let's go check it out. Ooh, we're going to be climbing way up here. It's still paid, so that's kind of nice. Uh, but cell phone service? Uh, it's been tricky, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, I actually plugged in when I had Wi-Fi at McDonald's, the route, because I didn't have service, AT&T or Verizon. And if I have to, I'll use paper maps, if I absolutely have to. Well, we are climbing. Wow. Woo Look at the way the, the, the clouds and the mist are over the mountains. That's creepy. Oh, going back uphill. Here we go. Come on, Miranda. You can do it, Miranda. <laughs> Come on, girl. I named the e-bike finally, guys. I did name the e-bike. The electric e-bike that I have is named Carmen. <laughs> yes, Carmen, the electric. <laughs> yes. Actually, all this climbing, maybe, I, maybe I'll just might get service up here. I miss my booster. I need to get another cell phone booster. Okay, something, something's going on here. Harry Osborne State Forest, that sign says. Let me get some information and find out where I'm supposed to park and everything. 
Want to check it out, Jex? All right, let's go check it out. Let's go see what there is here, okay? Yeah, buddy. I have pretty much changed my mind after arriving here. I have decided to stay here for at least one night because this place is deserted and beautiful and perfect and I can't think of any other better spot to be right now than at Harry Osborne State Forest. Free seven day camping, a fire pit. But if we walk to the other side of my RV, holy crap, no literally, there's literally horse crap everywhere yummy you might be able to hear the sound of running water down there let's go check it out hey mr magoo i know you don't like water so i'm gonna go down there alone okay yeah you gotta go back in the rv for a couple minutes okay and we'll come back outside you, you don't need to eat grass Jax, you're you're not famished buddy <laughs> look at all this green cedar trees uh blackberry bushes lots of mossy rocks and a creek. A creek. I feel better now. Uh, it looks like the state forest only owns this half of this creek. Um, it looks like people have gone through, but there is a... Somebody put up a posted no trespassing sign on that side of the, river, the creek. So, and look at these dangling mossy branches. I feel like I want to just transplant my, my hometown to Cedro Woolley, this, this national forest. In, or State Forest instead of Olympia, Thurston County. Can I can I do that? Is that can I do that? Yeah. Cause this is pretty sweet. And I mean again, the Discover Pass, the thirty-five dollar one-time annual Discover Pass, gets you seven days free here. So I'm definitely staying a night here. We may even be in a rainforest. Again, more cedar trees and western sword ferns. And look at all the green moss hanging from every single branch. No sunshine gets here ever, year round. That's why these are so mossy. Up close, it basically just feels like cotton. It's a super, super soft, fine material. And wet. Well, it rained earlier this morning, so it's going to take a couple days to dry this area out. That's also why I kind of want to stay here. I'm on firm ground. So I'm not going to get stuck anywhere. Let's just let's just wait for this whole thing to, to pass over and enjoy this uh, park. Dad, human, what took so long? You were gone forever. I counted. It was forever, Dad. Yeah. No, we're not in the city anymore. Horse mule parking for restroom use. <laughs> Park your mule. <laughs> okay? They got restrooms here. They don't have anything else, but they, they have restrooms for your seven-day camping experience. And it is mainly geared towards horse campers, but normal campers are welcome to be here. I'd much rather be at a horse campground than an ATV campground if I'm not partaking. If I had a horse or if I had an ATV, yeah, I would not I would love to be in those areas. Oh, they have a big uh, communal fire pit here, too. There's some warnings, like you may encounter recreational target shooting, even though recreational target shooting is not allowed. <laughs> okay. They listed some quiet time hours, and there's your seven days in a 30-day period. That is different. Actually, that may not be right, because Capital State Forest, they changed it to seven days out of the whole year. This one says you can camp here seven days every 30 days, which is, like I said, different.
Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful night here at Harry Osborne State Forest. Slept so good. It was so peaceful and beautiful all night. Uh, Jax and I actually did finish the Stranger Things third season. We watched the last three episodes last night, back to back to back, to finish the season. And uh, no spoilers for me, guys. Uh, but I was not prepared for that particular ending, and I don't know how I'm going to feel about a, a season four. Yeah, I just, I won't say anything. That's a uh, really good show. One of my favorite TV shows of all time now. And one of my favorite top ten free campgrounds in the country here. Harry Osborne. Um, it probably gets busy on the weekends. Probably, but man, I just love this place. So I want to spend a second night here, but I do want to put all my video and all my clips and everything together so I can edit it and get it ready to be uploaded when I do have service, which is probably going to be tomorrow, go to a coffee shop or somewhere that advertises free Wi-Fi. That's another thing is the, the loop knows where the dead spots are, so they'll advertise outside their businesses, free Wi-Fi, and come in and check your mail or for me, <laughs> upload a video. <laughs> uh, doing my best, guys. Uh, really excited about continuing on the uh, Cascade Loop, so y'all have a good day. Jackson and I will see you back from this loop here in a few days. Bye, guys.